Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the project. Today I want to talk about my top 10 tips for when you go traveling. Kicking this off at number one, we've got do things you wouldn't normally. So step out of your comfort zone and do some crazy things. For example, go surfing for the first time or go do a bungee jump, anything crazy. This is like a once in a lifetime experience to just express yourself and go all out and just experience new experiences and just have fun. At number two, we've got approach people. So this means in your hostel, approach other backpackers, get to know people. You never know those friends may become friends for life. They're really important people. You can learn so much from people from different cultures, different countries, and even get to know the locals around. They love speaking to tourists most of the time. And for number three, we've got stay in touch with your family and friends back home. Now this is super important for not just yourself, but for them as well. So they will no doubt be worrying about you while you're on the other side of the world. So it's important to keep them happy, as well as talking to them yourself. It's gonna really help you with your mental health whilst you're away. It'll help you feel so much better about your trip. And number four, we got learn some new words from each country you visit. Now, it doesn't have to be many words. It can just be like a hi or hello. For example, Ayoboan, Namaste, Xin Chao, like so many words I've learned on my trip and just picked up, they just stick with you for life. So it's really interesting to see how different languages vary. It's just great to know. And number five, we've got don't just do touristy attractions. Go and do some things off the beaten track. Go for hikes or anything. Just don't just do the temples which everyone goes to and have the same trip as everyone else. Explore for yourself and you'll have a great time. Number six, try the local delicacies and foods. So this is really important in getting part of the culture of the countries you're visiting, trying their foods that they have every day, something that you might not experience again in your life unless you go back to that country. Number seven, make sure you go to your buses and flights on time. Now, this racked up serious amounts of money for me. I missed so many flights and it cost me a lot of money and it kind of put me in a sticky situation in part of my trip where I ran out of money multiple times. <laughs> Coming in at number eight, we've got check your visa requirements. And if you need a flight out of the country before you enter. I had this problem where I got to the airport, I was ready to get my flight and they wouldn't let me on board because I didn't have a visa into Vietnam, but I didn't have a flight out either. So I couldn't take my flight and it ended in me having to purchase another flight later on that day. Coming in number nine, this is optional, but it's super useful if you do. Buy a SIM card. You can always use your Wi-Fi around. Most places will have Wi-Fi, but SIM cards are such a useful tool while you're traveling, whether it's for Google Maps or finding out information that could help you on your travels. Super useful, and it doesn't cost a lot in some of the places you travel. And wrapping this video up at number 10, just enjoy the experience. You may never get the chance to go traveling like this again, where you don't have to worry about anything. So just enjoy the whole experience. You'll have the best time possible. So that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I've got many more travel tips. If you want to hear them, just drop the comment down below. And I'd love to hear from you guys. Catch you in the next one.